Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with the It's Panning Cats and Dogs Project Pan Update. Uh, this was created by uh, Deb and Danny. I will link them down below. This ends on October 22nd. National Make a Dog's Day. So we don't have that long left. So because of that, even though I only finished one thing in the past two months, I'm actually throwing in some extra prompts so that I can hit more of the prompts that they came up with. Probably still won't be able to hit all 42 in the next three months, I think. But I'm gonna try. Anyways. What I did finish was the Scooby-Doo prompt. It's mystery or something I haven't tried yet. I chose the Wonder Beauty Site C-ER Vitamin C Concentrate. Last time it was down to here. It's a airless pump. It pumps upward. I finished it. We're moving on. So getting into everything that I still have first for a ball toy or something that can roll away. I continue to have since the beginning the DB Flawless Stroping Stick. I will insert my paper progress over here. I have used this a couple of times all over my face as part of like a, what's it called? Making like a glowy primer. So that has helped some with the progress. I need to remember to do that more often on days where I don't have to, my, my makeup doesn't have to last all day because I can't do that if I'm going out into the 100 plus degree heat with makeup on, which admittedly is normally when I go out in the heat, I don't wear makeup because I have to do a lot to keep it on my face and it's just too hot some days, but some days I want to look a bit nicer and then I wear makeup. But. I have used it 21 times since last time, and I do count when I use it all over my face as two uses. Although honestly, in comparison to just putting it on top of my cheekbones, I should probably count it as more, but two is enough. As long as I keep remembering to mix it with the primer, I will definitely have this finished. I would rather have it finished sooner rather than later because I've been working on this for forever at this point, it feels like. And the other thing that has been in here since the beginning, although now it's actually like moving along, is the for boxer item that was in a box. The Flush, Flush Pot Eye and Cheek Gloss. I actually use this as a lip gloss, not using it today, but I have used it a lot. This is what it currently looks like. I have finished a good bit of it. I have used it. 11 times since last time and the weight went from where is it at about 23.3 grams to 22.7 so i've used up a little over a gram now it has 2.9 i know i could finish this if i make this my primary gloss which i really should but i've just been playing back and forth with a couple of different ones like today i'm using the nyx fat lip oil on top of a lipstick for nightmare on panning street actually but and I left this in my purse for like two weeks. <laughs> That's part of the problem with, there should be more progress on this, but I, like I said, I left it in my purse for like two weeks. Bad. Anyways. Next is Shih Tzu or Maltese, something small with a big impact. That is the Chilla Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. It is a eyebrow, I always forget the word for this, but pomade. So this is what, is actually contains the product and even though there's only a little bit of it definitely makes a big impact i didn't do it today because i meant to film this the other day my turned out my battery died i thought that my camera died so i was having a complete meltdown over it turns out one of my batteries has gone bad <laughs> which is still something that still sucks but a lot cheaper to replace. So all these products have been sitting over here for like two days and I didn't use any of them today to get ready. But I have much preferring to use this to contour with underneath foundation because it's it's like dark brown. It would be too dark otherwise. But I've realized I don't like brow pomades in my brows. It's just too, you know. Anyways, I've used this 15 times since last time, and it has went from 8.9 to 8.6 grams. I've used up 0.8 grams overall, and if I remember correctly, yeah, there's only 1.3 grams in here, so it's moving along. And if I remember to use it as a contour more often, I think I will go through it quite a bit faster. Next is 
uh, scratching post, a nail product. I chose this nail oil pen, whom I don't remember anything like brand wise for. I won this in a giveaway from a friend. Uh, here are my marks. I really need to get a move on on this. You don't use a lot at a time. I'm not wearing nail polish right now, but I did use it before I came over here the other day to film. So that's something. I literally need to use it like every time I sit down at my desk <laughs> to get it used up. And speaking of something I need to get used up is this for cats, something I am so tired of. I wish a cat would just knock it off the, my counter, which I really wish my cat would knock this off the counter. But it is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Concealer Trio. I'm only trying to finish the green one and then I am decluttering this. This is what it looks like. If I could find a picture of it last time, I will insert it. I have only used it seven times in two months. I keep forgetting to use this. Like I don't, I have a mental block with this. It has been the bane of my panning existence for the past like year and a half because I can't remember to use it. I keep wondering if I like use it all over my face a couple of days, would that get rid of it? But I am, this is pretty pigmented for a like light green concealer, which I mean, you kind of want it to be pigmented enough to actually do something, but to like use it all over my face, it's gonna do some weird shading and I don't have that much redness, so. Part of why I forget to use it is because I don't have that much redness anymore. Just what I put on here on purpose now for the most part. I'll figure something out. Anyways, uh, moving on to what I'm rolling in. First is Mutt, something you have to mix. I chose the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. Made sense to me. I'm only gonna put this in here for 10 uses because like I said, I wanna hit more of the prompt, so this section at least is almost all uh, usage goals. Plus, you know, we're just getting down to the wire. I can't put like intense items in here for to finish because I'm still using some things from the beginning. Anyways, 10 uses, should be able to hit that no problem. Next is Maine Coon, item with the largest amount of product in a category. This definitely qualifies. It is the Yensa Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. <laughs> it has a whole 30 grams of product or a solid ounce. And for a cream bronzer, that is a lot. Like that is a crap ton of product. And I don't think I have ever actually used this. I think I've only swatched it on myself. So we'll get to find out if I even like it. Uh, 20 uses on this. I figure give myself a little bit more of a Time to figure it out. So that might take a bit, but I feel I still feel comfortable with that goal. Next is a German short hair, a product that never ends. And I feel that way with nail polishes in general. So I picked up a nail polish and I was craving some, you know, Barbie core aesthetic because I went and saw the Barbie movie last weekend and I wanted to paint my nails with this, but I ran out of time before I had to go. So I didn't get to paint my nails. Anyways, this is the Color Club Nail Lacquer in Warhol. I just want to use it five times. That's probably going to be a stretch of enough for me. I never paint my nails. Like I said, right now they're completely bare. One thing I do want to finish is next. It is uh, the Bichon Friche. It is apparently a hypoallergenic dog. And I picked out, it's for a clean makeup or skincare brand. And I picked out this. It is the Sweet Chef Beet and Vitamin A Serum Shots. Do you want to finish this? I figure I can handle finishing a little bitty serum. <laughs> so finish this. And I did decide to throw in my last two best in breed pets. Neither one of them are in here with me right now. Bills isn't even in here with me right now. They left me all on my lonesome. But first for best in breed, I will introduce Zazzy, whom I will insert several pictures of in here while I am talking. Uh, she is my youngest pet, definitely my youngest chihuahua who turned into a plump little potato when we fixed her, unfortunately. <laughs> my husband says, you shouldn't call her that, that's mean. And I'm like, she doesn't know what I'm saying. If she knew what I was saying, I would never call her a potato. But now she's kind of shaped like a potato. <laughs> Anyways, like Beale, she is a lip balm stealing little fiend. So I figured I'd throw in a lip balm for her. I will do good that she does not steal this. Honestly, she would love it. 
This is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in the Natural Mint and Shea Butter scent. Uh, I only want to use it 20 times because, like I said, trying to roll things in and out. But that shouldn't be too difficult, especially if I keep it on me during the day and reapply. So, lip balm. And like I said, hopefully she does not steal it and eat it herself. And finally, for Best in Breeds, we have my big fat orange cat, Europa. Oh, I guess I should mention where their names come from. Uh, Zazzy is actually short for Azazel because my, 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 I didn't want to say my dumb husband, but my husband wants to name dogs after demons. That's where the D was trying to come from. So we have three Chihuahuas. They are all named after demons. Just my man right there. Europa has a different naming scheme. He says he named her for the uh, moon around, I want to say Jupiter. I'm almost positive it's Jupiter. I will be horribly embarrassed and have to correct myself if I'm wrong, but I actually agreed to the name because of the song Europa by Thomas Dolby. So we argue over whether where her name came from. But Europa is definitely the quintessential orange one brain shell one brain cell shared by the entirety of orange cat species. I love her to death, but she can be kind of dumb sometimes. I love her for it. She is also clingy as all hell. <laughs> like I, We got her from a shelter, a local shelter actually, and when we were, you know, taking the cats out and seeing, you know, how they interacted with us, she was the one that wrapped her arms around me and hugged me and wouldn't let go, and I thought that was cute. And then I brought her home, and she kept doing it. <laughs> She is the clingiest cat I have ever had in my life, and I both love and hate it sometimes because the thing that kind of drives me crazy is that she wants to sleep on me at night. This would be adorable, except she doesn't know when to not use her claws. So she will just kind of start digging her claws into my back at like three in the morning when I've just fallen asleep. Because I don't sleep well at night. I prefer to sleep during the day, except for the fact that nothing goes along with that. So because she is my clingy little cling monster, I decided to pick out something that has clung to my collection for ages and ages and ages. This is probably my oldest highlighter. It is the Balm's Cindy Luminizer. I bought this from a blog sale many years ago, back when those were still more of a thing. I bought this at our old house, so. And I bought this a long time ago at our old house, so I don't want to think about how old this is. But it's a powder product, it doesn't smell weird or anything, so I'm gonna use it. I'm thinking 20 uses on this is more of a combo uh, blush and highlighter for me because I am hilariously pale. You know, blush topper type thing. I keep it in my highlighter drawer, I count it as a highlighter. But it is definitely blush topper slash maybe even just straight up blush category on me. We shall see while I'm using it. So it is very pretty though. I actually used up a little mini of this that I got I think from Birchbox or possibly Ipsy. Also way back in the day. And when I finished that up I wanted more so I bought the full size. And then I used it as a highlighter but like, I'm, like I said I think this is more of a combo for me. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!